Hi students and family members, this is Mr. Panza. Today's lesson in social studies is all about map skills, or as I like to call it, global knowledge. Where in the world am I? Throughout this video, you're going to get stopped and you will be asked a couple of questions. Whenever you see something like this or a black box that can be moved, you can expect the question. So make sure you're ready to whole body listen. That's because when these get removed, the answer will be there. For example, it tells you, where is the man in the boat sailing? You may be thinking, what man in what boat? Here's the boat. He could be sailing this way, and now you can see that Mr. Panza is lost at sea. Today's global knowledge map skills lesson is all about the lines of longitude and lines of latitude that help people understand where they are anywhere in the world. Let's get started. The first question I have is what is this line right here? The line that cuts the globe in half. It's one of these two possible answers. It's called the equator. The equator is an imaginary line that runs from east to west in the middle of the earth. When we separate the globe with the equator line from east to west, we actually separate this part of the globe from this part, and we call them hemispheres. What do you believe this hemisphere is? And what do you believe then this hemisphere is? If you said that the northern hemisphere would be up here and the southern hemisphere would be down here, you would be correct. The equator slices these hemispheres from east to west, but it separates the globe into a north and a south. Good job labeling the hemispheres correctly. What is this line? This is an imaginary line that runs north to south in the middle of the Earth. It divides the Earth into two other hemispheres. What do you believe it is called? Well, we already know that the one that slices through the middle is called the equator. This one that slices from north to south is known as the prime meridian. And it goes north and south, separating the globe into two other types of hemispheres. Let's label them correctly now. When I have the prime meridian slicing the globe from north to south, what do you believe this is called? And what do you believe this is called? If you labeled this the eastern hemisphere and this the western hemisphere, you would be correct. One more question. In what hemisphere do you live? Although we live in the eastern part of North America, we are in the western hemisphere. That's because the prime meridian has placed us on the western side of the globe. You could even say the northwest hemisphere, because if we get the equator involved, then you'll notice that North America, the part where we are living, is towards the north part of the globe. Now that you know the prime meridian and the equator, let's learn a little bit more about these lines that move from east to west, and these lines that move from north to south. What do you believe these lines that move from east to west are called? We know that the one right here in the middle is known as the equator, but the blue lines that run north and south of them from east to west are known as lines of latitude. Latitude lines measure the degrees of distance from the equator. Rungs on a ladder can be your hint. So to help you out, if you think about a ladder, they're the short lines that run across the globe, these right here. 
They are measuring the distance either north or south that you are from the red equator line. Those are lines of latitude. What do you believe these lines are called? The ones that run from north to south. They are known as lines of longitude. These measure the distance in degrees from the prime meridian, shown here as this red line. You'll notice these two examples here to help understand lines of longitude and lines of latitude. As a brief review, the lines of latitude measure the degrees in distance from the equator. They may run from east to west, but they measure the distance north and south of this red equator line. And longitude lines measure the distance in degrees from the prime meridian. The prime meridian runs north to south, but it measures the degrees in between east or west of that prime meridian. So when we look back at this example here, you can tell that 30 degrees north latitude, 80 degrees west longitude would be this blue dot here. That's because 30 degrees north latitude, if you follow the 30 degree marker, which is north 30 degrees of the equator, which is marked right here, and you match that with the 80 degree marker, which would then place me in that blue dot area, which again is the measurement west of the prime meridian, this zero marker, is able to find you in this spot down here in the southeastern part of the United States, close to Florida. And that's how people who are traveling at sea or on land can find wherever they want to be. I hope you learned something today and that this video helped with your map skills or your global knowledge.